I'm a kid of the 70s and 80s, so I heard the title Debbie Does Dallas. The problem is that that little whore apparently did something immoral. I've never seen the film, never wanted to, even though it was noted in the Larry Flint documentary with Woody Harrelson. But why he did that film, no one can say. Why he's still in Hollywood, I can't say. He was simply a guy who was drunk in a bar, I guess, and he got into Hollywood somehow. Good for him. But the reality is there's been plenty of stars, plenty of starlets who've come and gone. People have made their reality TV shows and left with millions in some cases. Look at Simon Cowell. But he was apparently already pretty popular in his home country, but they kicked him out of there, I guess, because he's now here. How did he get here? Why is he here? How much money did he have to bring here to do what he's doing? But is he really helping America? Or are we putting really crazy dreams in kids' minds? You see, we have to teach children to be themselves. We have to teach children to pay attention to their body language. We have to teach children to be service-oriented, heartfelt, not immoral children. We have to help people to be more humble, but we also have to help children who are humble to be wise. It is easy to be wise when you're humble. It is a fool who is arrogant about their life. It is an arrogant woman who thinks she's better or too good for someone. And openly, it is an arrogant man who thinks he has a right to steal a wife from someone. 